Hi everybody, Mr. Seward here, and today we are going to set up this title strip for our drawings. And uh, here's the steps we're going to use. We're going to start a new drawing. We're going to save it as title strip.dwg. And uh, something I didn't put on the sheet, but we are going to insert our base drawing into this so that we get the layers that we want. So let, uh, let's do that first, okay? I'm going to start a new drawing. And I'll get rid of this dialog box. I don't need that right now. And then the uh, next thing is I'm going to go to insert here. And I'm going to hit black from libraries. And I'm going to go into my black from libraries. And I have looked for this earlier today, so it's already here. But uh, if you need to, you can go to browse black libraries. And then you can uh, search your computer to find what you what you need. Here's my base 2021 right here. And I'm going to hit open. Now I go here and I just double click on this. And then when I bring my cursor out, it spe says specify my insertion point. And my insertion point is going to be 0, 0. And I hit enter. Now what that will have done for me is that will have brought in all the layers that I'm going to need. So I'll get rid of this little dialog box now. Okay, good. So next thing, it goes, uh, we're going to save it as title strip.dwg. So right now it's called drawing 15. Um, but we are going to go up to save as and click on that. And we'll navigate to our EGR folder that we've put onto our flash drive. And right here is where I've got mine. And we are going to name this title. And I'm going to call mine 2021. Whoops. There we go. And hit save. So now our name has uh, indeed been changed. All right. Back to the PDF file. By the way, this PDF file is in your uh, class folder. So now it says, use the table below to create new text style, style one, two, and three. So style is right here in this column. You can see it. We're going to use uh, the uh, text editor to uh, do this. So let's go and get that active. Right here where it says annotation has a down arrow, we're going to click. And then I'm going to click on this little letter A that has a uh, like a brush next to it. And that brings up this text editor. And there's a couple different text styles in here already, one being annotative and the other being standard. We're going to use the annotative one. And I'm going to say new. And it calls it style one for me, names it. And I'm going to go back to my uh, PDF sheet here. And I'm going to see that the height of this text should be 0.25. It's Romans S with a width of 0.6. And that's for style one. So I'm going to click where it says font name here, and I'm just going to type the letter R. You can scroll down through this if you want. It's alphabetical, but it's much easier to just do uh, what I just did with typing the letter R. Here's Romans S. My height is going to be 0.25, and my width factor is going to be 0.6. And I hit apply. I'm going to put in a new text style. This is style two. Now I'm going to go back to the PDF. Style two is 0.125 Roman S and a width of one. And that is style number two. All right. So Roman S is already here. I'm going to have to change my text height to 0.125, my width factor to one, and select apply. Last one, new, style three. I'll say OK. Check the PDF. Uh, style three is 0.25, Roman C, width of one. So change my text height to 0.25. Width factor is one. But my Romans here changes to Romans C. And I hit apply. And then I close.
So now I'll show you uh, the benefit of having those annotations, right? When I click on annotation here, I've got click on uh, where it says style three. I've got style one. So I can just highlight that and then I'll be able to use the text and they have style one. Uh, same thing for styles two and three. Uh, I also have uh, my layers here and I'm going to change to the layer border. Now, what I'll do next is I'm going to draw this uh, title strip right down here into uh, my AutoCAD drawing. So you'll follow these directions. I'm going to just start you on this. I'm not going to do the entire thing. I just want to get you started on it. And uh, there's one or two dimensions that I forgot on here to put on here. Uh, but uh, pretty much everything, I think there's just one dimension I forgot to put on here. So I'll show you how to do the beginning of this. And uh, then we'll uh, get into putting the text on down here in a uh, separate video. All right. So the first thing is I want to make sure I'm on my border layer. So I just clicked on the arrow here, went to border, and selected that. Now I'm going to use the rectangle tool and I'm going to put my first corner at zero comma zero and I'll hit enter and my next corner is going to be at uh, the x value of 10 comma and the y value and this is the dimension I forgot of one and I'll do a zoom extends z enter e enter Okay, now, here's what this is. This is a polyline. Uh, you can see maybe <laughs> that it has the word polyline next to it. And uh, polylines are really quite useful because this is one entity. I could do anything I like to it right now. It will edit as one entity, but I don't want it to be one entity. In this case, I actually want to explode it. And this is the explode icon up here. Or I can type in exp and find it in this little text box. And then I can just highlight that and push enter. And now this is all four lines are individual lines. Once you've got that done, what you can do is you can start using your offset tool to uh, create the uh, rest of these dimensions that are on here or use these dimensions to create the title strip. So I'm going to stop recording this video and uh, the next video will be about how to use the text function with our text styles to uh, put information into here. Okay. Okay. We have one more thing we need to add to this title strip and that is a block of uh, space up here above where the text is going to go. So I'm going to use my rectangle tool and uh, I'll go to uh, get my rectangle tool going here. Here we go. I'll go to this intersection uh, right here. I'm going to click. I'm going to pull this out and you'll see the top value is 7.89 right now. It's in blue. I'm going to put 10 there and then I'm going to hit the comma. And uh, for the height, I'm going to put in 6.5. And I'm going to hit uh, enter. And that adds this box up above my title strip.